adding lists to dictionaries. Um, so far in our previous tutorials, uh, all we've done is we've simply had a key, which has been a, uh, for instance, a name, and a value, which has been either a string or an integer. So for instance, uh, it's been, a, if we are a telephone book, we had a name of the person who's in the telephone book, and the value was their telephone number. But dictionaries, as well as holding strings or integers or whatever, a single value, they can also be uh, used to ins uh, to hold objects themselves. So you could have a list inside of a dictionary, or in fact a dictionary inside of a dictionary. So let's have a look at how that works. Well, the way you're doing it is exactly the same as previous. So you create uh, an empty dictionary, or you can pre-populate it if you want. Um, but when we come to add a person to the dictionary, all we have to do is um, Instead of doing equals and then a string, we could just do equals followed by a list or, or, a, or, or a dictionary itself inside of there. Um, but that's actually quite useful. So now what we've got is um, we've got a whole host of people here, uh, three different items in the dictionary, three different names, and each name has a list as its value. So its key is like Gandalf, and his value to that would be uh, a staff, a cape, and a pointy hat, all in a list. So what we could do here is we could say, okay, um, uh, let's put name equals input. Who's oh, whose inventory do you want to see? There you go. So you can ask for the person, and then you can go for item in fellowship brackets name print oh, don't do print item so hopefully now what will happen it will get to this point here it will ask me to type someone's name in and then it will print out all the items that person has so let's just uh, scroll down here a bit there we go so it's asking me for the item I want to see. So let's put uh, let's put Gandalf. There we go. And submit. There you go. And if we press forward, it should now print out all of the items. There you go. Staff, cape, pointy hat. There you go. So that's really nice and easy uh, but it's already starting to get quite useful there you can you got a dictionary you can access it from someone's name um, so if you just want to print out Gandalf so you can just do print um, fellowship brackets uh, Gandalf and it will print out it will just print out Gandalf uh, oops let's just put that in speech marks so otherwise it won't do anything there you go, that's fine. Uh, get rid of that name equals inputs. So you can already see here, it will just print out all of Gandalf's list there. Or you could do something, um, uh, you could do uh, an if statement. So you could say, okay, if um, Gandalf has a, let's see if Gandalf's got a staff. So if fellowship brackets, uh, oh. Uh, there we go. If let's say staff, okay. Uh, if okay, staff in do, 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 do. Gandalf print Gandalf has a staff. There you go, and that should there you go. So it's printed. Gandalf has a staff. Uh, so. That's really it's nice and easy, uh, nice and easy to use. Um, obviously, you could do it a slightly more complicated way. You could say, okay, uh, who name equals input? Uh, who do you want to check? Uh, and then uh, item equals. What item are you looking for? So there's loads of different ways you can use this. And then you can say, okay, if uh, item in fellowship brackets name, print 
they have that item. Else they don't have that item. There you go. So here it'll ask for someone's name. So for instance, uh, let's put um, Frodo. Let's see if Frodo's got staff. Submit. Uh, staff. Submit. There you go. And if I press next, hopefully it should say they don't have that item. So really easy to use. And of course, because these are lists, uh, lists are, um, they are changeable. They are what's known as mutable. So they are changeable. So if we want to give, uh, let's say we want to give Frodo a staff, we can do that. So what we can say here is just get rid of that item. Um, who, uh, who do you want to give an item to? What item do you want to, to give to them? There you go. So, and then, so you can ask, who do you want to give the item to? What do, item do you want to give them to? And then it's nice and simple. You go and get the name of the person. So fellowship, uh, and then that goes and gets, by doing fellowship brackets name, which is the name of the dictionary followed by the name of the key, it goes and gets the actual list itself, which means that you could use those list uh, the normal list functions attached to any list. So you can use the append function. And then so you can go item. There you go. So, uh, so fellowship name dot append uh, item. So that now should go to the fellowship, get that name of that person and give them the item. Uh, so if we go here, let's just run down. So who do you want to give an item to? Frodo. Who do you, uh, what item do you want to give them? Uh, let's give him a staff. Oh no, let's give him a uh, mithril. Is that mithril? That's nice to it. Uh, vest. There we go. Uh, submit. And if we press forward, there you go. So uh, Frodo now has the mithril vest. So it's really, really, really powerful. Uh, and of course, as well, you can say, uh, you can say, there uh, we go, if uh, that name is in. Fellowship. So, if the person is in that uh, fellowship already, you can add uh, you can add them add that to their list. Um, if they're not already in there, then just create them a new create a new person and set whatever they've given the item they've set to be the first item in their list. But just be careful. Quick hint: put a comma there. Uh, without the comma, it doesn't create a list. I don't think. Um, or it might not, um, but what it will do now is say, okay, if they're in the list, add an item to their existing list. If they're not in the list, then just set up a new person and put that as the first item in their list. So um, let's say, um, do, 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 do. Uh, ooh. oh, uh, let's add Bilbo. Uh, he's not really part of the fellowship, but we'll add him in anyway. So um, Bilbo, and let's give him a um, notebook to write his um, notebook uh, to write his notes on. There we go. And hopefully now, if we go through, if I've done it all right, there you go, perfect. So this way round, it will create a new person and give them a notebook. So you can see now they're really, really, really powerful but also is really easy to use. I mean, there's only a few lines of code and you're doing something quite clever. Anyway, hope that helps. If um, if you enjoyed the tutorial, uh, enjoyed the series of tutorials, please uh, do subscribe to the channel so you can uh, receive more. Thank you very much.